So, Catherine, it's all worked out. We'll get there in the end. <laughs> no worries. Um, just give us two seconds, Catherine, I'll give you a thumbs up. Catherine, we're ready to go whenever you are. Hello. Can you hear me okay now? We can, Catherine. You can start whenever you're ready. Lovely. Okie dokie. Hiya, Alex. Good to talk to you. Um, good challenge, this. What appeals about uh, your, your low move to Huddersfield? Oh, no. Um, you know, I heard about this um, uh, now a week ago, and, um, you know, I like what the manager said, so, you know, it's an opportunity for me to come and play some football before the end of the season, which I wanted to do. And I thought that was the, you know, the right choice for me. So I came in and, you know, want to kick on and play. It's not the easiest task for you. Um, you know, you'll know where Huddersfield Town are in the table. You know, it, what did the club say to you to actually sell it to you to come here? Um, it was more than like the manager. You know, uh, the conversation I had with the manager. You know, um, I was very pleased with his words. So you know, it's a great club, and you know, I trained today, and it was very good. So. Is, you know, the gaffer had a, um, a lot to do with it, so, yeah. Yeah, what did he say to you? Um, he said, you know, wanting to come and play, you know, help the midfield out, you know, um, try to progress the ball, win some tackles, protect the defence, you know, progress the ball as normal, so that's what I wanted to do and that's what, you know, he said, so it's straight, pretty straightforward for me. Equally, you've worked closely with Mauricio Pochettino yeah. at Chelsea, What's he like to have as a gaffer? And again, what does he want from you? For the, what, what does he want out of this move for you? I um, no, Porch is a great gaffer. Um, you know, handled me very well while I was at Chelsea in a short period of time. Um, spoke to him a lot at the time, you know. Um, grateful for him to give me my debut playing twice with the club. So, um, for him, he just wants me to see me play, do very well and come back to pre-season on a different level. So like a different man, you know, with the more experience of playing the game. So that's pretty much it. He's clearly a very big fan of yours. And yeah. it's been a pretty meteoric rise since you joined Chelsea. They've got such a, a talented, big squad. And yet you've maybe leapfrogged some other people and, and are already very much on the fringes of the first team. So what do you think it is that's, that's given you the edge to actually get you into the position that you've been in over the last few months? Um, no, I just try to attack every day. 100%, you know, work very hard in the training pitch, you know, and that's pretty much what I do. Um, there's not much else I can really say, you know, um, just a lot of hard work. Um, that's pretty much it. Clearly a lot of talent as well, though. How would you describe what you're going to bring to the team? Oh, no, yeah. Um, you know, um, on the ball I can play, you know, I can pass, you know. Um, I work hard for the team. I can drive the ball very well, so, um, yeah. I don't really like speaking about my talent, you know, I just like to speak about how hard I work and the rest will will show, you know, so, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting dynamic, isn't it? How much of your development as a footballer, how much is it down to hard work? How much is it down to just natural ability? How much is it down to training? What do you put it down to? Um, probably training, training and hard work pretty much. Um, you know, when you're on the field, you know, you put some hours behind it, you know, I've put a lot of hours behind it, you know, extra hours to be where I am today. Um, you know, and just impressing a lot of people at the club and stuff. So that's pretty much what I try to do. And also when I'm playing in the games as well, just working hard, working my socks off, you know, that's pretty much it. You've clearly got a lot of strings to your bow. What is it that gives you a real kick out of playing football? Is it a great challenge, a great through ball, getting a goal? What is it that really kind of lights that fire inside of you as a professional player? For me, it's a, it's a tackle. Um, I love to tackle. I love to put a lot of challenges in, so um, that's what fires me a lot, you know. Um, I don't feel very happy if I don't put a tackle in, so, yeah, probably challenges. You're going to learn from one of the best in Jonathan Hogg. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Town, you also yeah. like to tackle. Yeah. How much is it down to perfect timing to get it just right? Oh, yeah. No, perfect timing is obviously very, very key. You know, you miss a few sometimes as well, but that happens. Um, but that perfect timing, you know, is fantastic. Like, it's very important. You played alongside some fantastic, hugely talented, world-renowned players. 
Who particularly inspires you on the pitch? Um, probably N'Golo Kante. When I played my first trial game for Chelsea, I played alongside him um, when I went down. So uh, he played very well in that game and he inspired me. You know, I try to emulate his game as much as possible. What's he like? Um, very humble, you know, quiet but very humble. You know, everyone loves him. Um, and, uh, you know, a very good role model to have. What's it going to take for you to reach the same level then and be talked about in the same breath as somebody like Angolo Kante? Um, just to get my head down and play football, you know. Um, I don't think there's much I can really do. Obviously, he's a world-class player, world-talented player, so um, just work hard and just see what happens in it. We're looking forward to hopefully seeing you in action on Sunday against Manchester uh, City. Now, just looking back at, at your appearances with Chelsea, you were on the bench, weren't you, for that incredible 4-4 draw back in December. What was it like watching that game unfold up close and personal? Um, that game was electric. Um, I was on the bench and I was off my seat half the time because that game was fantastic. Um, probably the best game I've been involved in on the bench. So, um, nah, but It was very good, very good. Took a lot of experiences out of that game. How much did you just kind of almost enjoy it as a spectacle? And equally, how much was it in the back of your mind? Like, I could actually get cold upon it. Yeah. So you've got to keep your head kind of focused yeah. on that. Yeah, um, at all times you've got to keep your head focused, you know, because the gaffer could um, call you to come on at any time of the pit, at any time of the stage. So, you know, um, yeah, you've got to keep focused, even though you're trying to just enjoy and have a good time. Equally, you see the talent of Manchester City, but, you know, they're not infallible. They will lose the odd game. They must yeah. have some chinks in their armour. Do yeah. you see this as a good opportunity to really test yourself against some of the potentially the best players in the world, depending oh. on who Guardiola selects? Of course, of course. You know, you have to go to the every game if you can win, you know, or you're just not going to perform at your best. So, no, it's a very good opportunity for the club and the players to show what they're about and try try win the game. Yeah, it's a key to it, to sort of go there and not show a side too much respect. Mm. Exactly, you know, just to have to ruffle a few feathers and um, try to win the game. And is this, in some ways, the perfect potential Huddersfield Town debut for you? It's not the league match and the pressures that that brings, it's a one-off, potentially winner-takes-all, get in there and get stuck in. Of course, yeah. You know, it's a, it's a game I'm looking forward to, to be involved in, you know, so I have to wait and see what happens and... Well, look, we wish you the best of luck. Good luck on Sunday. Thank you, Alex. Thank you very much. Cheers, Catherine. We'll just come to Stephen in the room. Alex, um, <coughs> the fans here will mm. love a tackle as well. I think they'll, they'll be quite keen on that answer. Um, you played as a winger when you were a bit younger, I think I'm right in saying. Was that sort of your willingness to get stuck in? Is that part of why you've ended up sort of dropping into that yeah. deep line of field? Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, when I was younger, I used to play in a lot of positions, you know. Like you find yourself um, played put on me as a winger when I was younger, um, and then recently when I was you know around sixteen seventeen I started to move more down the pitch in the midfield role because of you know my energy and I can tackle a lot so I started to really like that position you know um, so uh, I came to Chelsea and I started just really excelling at that position you know winning a lot of tackles and stuff so that's why I like playing like a deep line midfielder for myself so yeah. yeah. Is is that where the gaffer sees you playing? Here? Yeah. Playing as a deep black midfielder or just a bit, just in front like of Hoggy, you know, like an eight type or a six, you know, I could play as a base by myself or I could play in a two, I can play in, you know, so that's where I see myself playing. Have you, we've had quite a few of your Chelsea teammates yeah. at the Johnstones yeah. over the years, you know, Levi Colwell, Trev Chalibur, Ben Chilwell, have you spoken to any of those before you made the move here? Yeah, I spoke to Levi uh, the day before I came down, oh, nice. you know, I say it's a very good place to come and play, you know. Everyone here is um, very appreciative, good people, you know, so uh, he's, he had uh, very good comments about the club. We've had, I think, at Huddersfield, maybe a little bit of a, a lack of creativity at times. We've talked a lot about sort of the defensive side. Do you feel like you can offer a bit of something on the ball as well? Yeah, of course. I can offer, you know, some passes, you know, to create more chances as well for the club, you know, for the team, you know, which is lacking a little bit. Um, so, yeah, I'll be excited to do that. I guess that's the thing, isn't it? It's sort of, as a midfielder, I think sometimes yeah. you talk about defence midfield, yeah. midfield, but you have to do a bit yeah, of all. Yeah, you've got to do a bit of all, of course. As a midfielder, you've got to have a bit of both, you know. So, yeah, I'll be looking to do that. Best of luck. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much.
Cheers, Steve. We'll just come to Leon from the Watch Fox next year. Hi, hi, Alex. It must be easy here, old counter. You, you're playing in a trial game against <laughs> how, how Were you sort of nervous? It was a game of Charlton, wasn't it? Charlton, yeah. How do you remember? Do you, do you remember being sort of. Because it was strange when you play next to your rival. Yeah. Um, um, it was. Uh, it was strange, you know, because that week I was playing for Norwich on a Monday at yeah. anyone's game, and on the Thursday I was playing, you know, the county. So it was a uh, so I didn't really get let that get into my head, you know. I just had to focus on, you know, yeah. myself and play, and but obviously he helped my he helped my performance dramatically. Um, yeah. So I just had to focus, and you know, I didn't really pay attention to it until after the game, because yeah. obviously I had a job to do. I had a job to do. So, yeah. uh, but it was a very very good experience for yeah. myself. What habits have you have you sort of got? I mean, you, I mean, you watch him on the, on the training ground every yeah. day, and it's not just about on the pitch. It's being a good professional, uh, yeah. isn't it? You know? Yeah, yeah. Um, you have to be a good professional off the pitch, on the pitch. You know, just uh, be ready to work every day. You know, so yeah. yeah. It sounds like you've been ready for this move for a while. So I know you were at Norwich last year. You wanted to get more <laughs> more game time and everything, and uh, now you've got that that chance. Yeah. Of this, you know, getting that experience yeah. in the championship yeah. is massive for you. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, I was at Norwich, you know, you know, the people are there are fantastic, you know. Um, and I made the decision to move to Chelsea. I'm obviously playing the 21s for a little bit and obviously yeah. joined up with the first team for a little bit. And then now, obviously, this January, I have an opportunity to, you know, come and play for Huddersfield for half a season. So, um, yeah. you know, obviously, I want to play and you know, show people what I can do and stuff. So I'm ready to play, you know, yeah. just to... You know, get some um, fitness in me, get some you know minutes in me, and I'll be ready to play and start. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When people say you're a winger, you get a little bit not annoyed, but you know, not having midfield sort of thing. You know, because that's where you glitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, no, yeah, it's just, yeah, yeah. No, I understand that. You know, some people not may not really not understand like where I'm from or who yeah. I used to be, but obviously now you know now recently I've changed over to be a the good you know midfielder. So you know, it just happens sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Now you, I've had a look, you're from Bedford. Yeah. It's a big, big rugby area. Yeah. You're a tough midfielder. Did you sort of, as, as, as you were a young lad, did you try your hand at rugby? Did that anything like that? Or? Um, when I went to a private school in Norwich, I used to play a bit of rugby. Yeah, I used to play a bit of rugby from year six to about year nine, and I stopped playing. But I was quite, I was, I was good, I was good. Yeah. So you didn't get tough as rugby then? Yeah, of course, of course, of course. You know, yeah, I remember playing a, a lot of games. Um, so sometimes I play rugby in the in the morning. I'll go train and play training yeah. for Norwich in the afternoon. So yeah, I remember. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. That was good. Definitely uh, toughened uh, me up. Yeah. And then, look, your, does your brother play as well? Or did he? Just yeah. My, a little bit about that. What's my it? younger brother plays. Um, he's currently at Norwich at the moment. Um, but now he's he's a good player. He's similar to me. <laughs> like yeah, very yeah. similar. Um, good tackler. Good. He's he's got bit of both both feet. He's a good player. Um, he's yeah. one to watch in the future for sure. Yeah, yeah. Is it younger than? Yeah, younger? maybe. Yeah, yeah. It's about um fifteen. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's a nice. Uh, he's got someone to sort of yeah. look up to yeah. and follow him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you do your research on Huddersfield? You mentioned there's a lot of Levi's played here. There's, yeah, there's I know well. Easy J Brown, Casey Palmer, all done relatively well here. You know, so um, I know Levi's came here and played. Um, you know, yeah. two years ago and done really well, and now he's excelling. You know, so it's fantastic to see. Yeah, I mean, you hope to become a man in the football in sense. It's everything as well. It's living yeah. away from your mm. from your comfort zone and yeah. all that. You don't yeah. really know that many yeah. people mm. here, and mm. uh, it's going to be a massive fear. Football education, yeah. your life education, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, I'll, I'll experience a lot being here, you know, not just on the pitch from the people around, but especially off the pitch as well. Yeah. You know, obviously living by myself, you know, getting to know myself a little bit better, you know, it'll, it'll be a fantastic experience for me. Yeah. You know, when I return from Chelsea, I, I would have learned a lot of new things from a, a lot of, you know, very experienced people yeah. um, around this area, around the club, you know, even the players themselves. So it'll be fantastic for me, you know, yeah, yeah. regardless of the situation. And the first team lads have helped you with Chelsea little word in training. Yeah, yeah. Just tell us a little bit about that. Oh yeah, no, um when I was there I used to speak to, you know, all the Chelsea lads, you know, um, Reese James, the captain, you know, all the time, Thiago Silva. So speak to them about a few things, you know, yeah. about opportunities and stuff. So yeah, yeah. Like, their words of advice were very very influential on me, myself, you know. So 
you know, for the for the time I was training over there, yeah. you know, building relationships, you know, because I was obviously there for about three, four months. So it was good. It was good. Yeah. It's some place to make your debut on Sunday. Oh yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, it'll be some place. Um, yeah, so, hey, looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. Very best of luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers, man. We'll just come back onto the laptop. We're working on the sun.